Hold on to your hats, folks, because Voyager 1 is the farthest human-made object from Earth. That's right, this plucky little probe is cruising through interstellar space, billions of miles from home. It's a testament to human ingenuity and our insatiable desire to explore the cosmos. Voyager 1, along with its twin Voyager 2, embarked on their epic journey way back in 1977. Their mission? To study the outer planets of our solar system, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. They were designed to be our eyes and ears in the vast unknown, beaming back data and images that would revolutionize our understanding of these distant worlds. Think about it. 1977. Back then, disco was king, cell phones were the stuff of science fiction, and we were still figuring out how to land a man on the moon. But amidst all that, we launched two spacecraft on a trajectory to take them farther than any human-made object had ever gone before. Talk about ambitious. The Voyager spacecraft were marvels of engineering for their time. Each one is equipped with scientific instruments, cameras, and even a golden record containing greetings, music, and sounds from Earth. This record is intended as a message in a bottle for any extraterrestrial civilizations that might stumble upon it in the vastness of space. How cool is that? The Voyager missions were a resounding success, sending back a treasure trove of scientific data and stunning images of the outer planets and their moons. Voyager 1 gave us our first close-up views of Jupiter's Great Red Spot, a massive storm that has been raging for centuries. Voyager 2 followed up with the first-ever flybys of Uranus and Neptune, revealing their icy beauty and complex ring systems. These missions weren't just about snapping pretty pictures, though. The Voyagers made groundbreaking discoveries about the atmospheres, magnetospheres, and moons of the outer planets. They found evidence of active volcanoes on Jupiter's moon Io, hinted at the possibility of a subsurface ocean on Europa, and revealed the intricate structure of Saturn's rings. After their planetary encounters, the Voyagers continued their journey outward, eventually crossing the boundary of our solar system and entering interstellar space. Voyager 1 achieved this milestone in 2012, followed by Voyager 2 in 2018. It was a historic moment, marking the first time that human-made objects had ventured into the realm between the stars. Out in interstellar space, the Voyagers are exposed to the harsh conditions of the interstellar medium, a region of extremely low density but high radiation. They've encountered cosmic rays, charged particles that zip through space at nearly the speed of light, and endured extreme temperature swings. Yet despite these challenges, they've kept on chugging along, sending back valuable data about the environment beyond our solar system. One of the most iconic images ever taken by Voyager 1 is the pale blue dot photograph. This image, captured in 1990, shows Earth as a tiny speck of light suspended in a sunbeam. It's a humbling perspective that reminds us of just how small and fragile our planet is in the grand scheme of things. Think of the most remote place on Earth, like the top of Mount Everest, or the bottom of the Mariana Trench. Now imagine a place a billion times farther away. That's interstellar space. It's a mind-boggling concept, but the Voyagers are out there right now, bravely exploring this uncharted territory. Out there, the Voyagers are exposed to the full fury of the cosmos. Cosmic rays, those high-energy particles I mentioned earlier, can damage electronics and disrupt communications. The extreme temperatures, ranging from hundreds of degrees below freezing to scorching hot, put a lot of stress on the spacecraft's components. And then there's the issue of power. The Voyagers are powered by radioisotope thermoelectric generators, or RTGs, which convert the heat from decaying plutonium into electricity. But the output of these RTGs decreases over time. To conserve power, mission controllers have had to turn off some of the instruments on both spacecraft. It's like playing a cosmic game of Jenga, trying to keep these aging probes operational for as long as possible. Even though they're billions of miles away and running low on power, the Voyagers are still making groundbreaking discoveries. They've detected waves in the interstellar plasma, the soup of charged particles that exists between the stars. They've measured the strength of the interstellar magnetic field, which is much stronger than we thought, and they've provided new insights into the composition of interstellar dust. These discoveries are helping us to better understand the interstellar medium, a region of space that we know very little about. They're also giving us clues about the history and evolution of our galaxy. Remember that golden record on board the Voyagers? Well, it contains a map that shows the location of Earth relative to pulsars, which are rapidly rotating neutron stars that emit beams of radiation. By studying the data from the Voyagers, scientists have been able to refine these pulsar maps, 
making them even more accurate. This means that if any extraterrestrial civilizations ever find the Voyagers, they'll have a better chance of figuring out where we came from. It's like leaving a cosmic breadcrumb trail for any curious aliens out there. As of 2024, both Voyager 1 and 2 are still operational, continuing their journey through interstellar space. They're expected to keep transmitting data for at least another decade, maybe even longer. After that, they'll fall silent, but their mission will continue. They'll drift through the galaxy as silent ambassadors of humanity, carrying with them the hopes and dreams of the civilization that built them. The Voyager missions have been an incredible success story, far exceeding their original goals. They've shown us the beauty and wonder of our solar system and given us a glimpse into the vastness of interstellar space. Their legacy will continue to inspire generations to come, reminding us of the power of human curiosity and our insatiable thirst for exploration. Now, go out there and learn more about the Voyagers and the incredible discoveries they've made. Read books, watch documentaries, explore the NASA website. The universe is out there waiting to be discovered.